Once upon a time, there was a man named David who found himself feeling overwhelmed by the chaos and stress of modern life. Seeking solace and inner peace, he embarked on a silent retreat at a Buddhist monastery nestled in the serene mountains. For days, David immersed himself in the tranquility of the monastery, finding solace in the stillness of his surroundings. As the days passed, he noticed a subtle shift within himself, his mind grew calmer, his heart lighter, and his spirit stronger. Yet, despite these positive changes, David couldn't shake the feeling that something was still missing. Upon completing his retreat, the monastery's wise teacher offered David the opportunity to speak with one of the resident monks before his departure. Eager for guidance, David sought out the monk and posed a question that had been weighing heavily on his mind, how do you find peace? The monk, with a gentle smile, responded simply, I say yes. To everything that happens, I say yes. At first, David was puzzled by the monk's words. How could saying yes to everything bring about peace? But as he reflected on the monk's advice, he began to understand its profound wisdom. Returning home, David carried the monk's words with him, contemplating their meaning in his everyday life. He remembered the monk's guidance to embrace life's flow, to surrender to the ever-changing currents of existence rather than resisting them. When faced with challenges and setbacks, David reminded himself to say yes, to accept the reality of the present moment without judgment or resistance. Instead of railing against the storms of life, he learned to navigate them with grace and equanimity. On days when the weather turned foul and dark clouds loomed overhead, David chose to say yes, to embrace the rain as it nourished the earth and cleansed the air. He found beauty in the midst of the storm, recognizing that even the darkest of skies held the promise of renewal and growth. When his heart ached with longing for connection and love, David chose to say yes, to open himself to the possibility of rejection and disappointment, knowing that vulnerability was the gateway to authentic connection and intimacy. And when faced with seemingly insurmountable obstacles blocking his path, David chose to say yes, to view each challenge as an opportunity for growth and transformation, trusting in his own resilience and inner strength. Through the practice of saying yes, David discovered a newfound sense of freedom and empowerment. Instead of struggling against the currents of life, he learned to ride them with grace and ease, allowing them to carry him towards his highest potential. And so, dear friends, may we all learn from David's journey and embrace the power of saying yes, to accept life's inevitable ups and downs with an open heart and a willing spirit. For in the surrender to what is, we find true peace and liberation.